Hey guys and welcome back to Number 9 Farms. Today we're going to be doing butternut squash that we bought from um, Azure and it was a 20 pound box so Bruce has already taken the box back but it was a box about uh, this big and about this wide full with one big giant bag of butternut squash and this has always been a staple for us in our life so we thought well we'll get some freeze dried and this was a simple easy way to go ahead and get it done and i wanted to also show you this is the celery that i just did in the last video um and we ended up with uh two half gallons and maybe about i don't know maybe two quarts there and that was about 15 pounds 15 or 16 pounds of frozen celery right so and it turned out beautiful all right and then uh we're gonna get this in and also in one of the trays i wanted to show you something i did up here was i put a little bit of horseradish in there um i had bought it to uh dehydrate it so i thought well let me just go ahead and give it a go so we're gonna give that a go so we got the large harvest rate um so the trays are ready to go and we're just waiting on the pre-freezing -free right now because the um butternut is frozen all right so we'll be back hey guys we're back now it's been 41 hours and 59 minutes so right at 42 hours so let's see what we have oh yeah it looks so good oh look at this oh yeah it's done definitely all right let's give it a go oh yeah it's so good <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look at this. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, let's see how the um horseradish did. Yeah. And find it. Woo, these trains. Woo! Yeah. It's negative twenty-eight degrees. That's why your helper always does that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, once again. <laughs> Gotta be the last tray. Okay. You have to tell me where it's at. It must be on this one that I didn't pull all the way out. There's five trays, I think it's yeah, in there. Yeah, I get it. You're not buying my lottery ticket. <laughs> oh, there it is. Hmm. I don't think I want to sample the horse trash so. though. Oh come on. Look at that. Cram one in there, just like wasabi. It won't bother you at all. Look how good it looks. Oh my gosh. Take one for the team. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead now and package this up. And we're going to take you along to the very end this time. All right, Bruce wants to... Mm. See, you should have done that for the team, honey. I'm not worried because I have a margarita to wash it down. No, oh, I know. It's not bad. It's not? No, not at all. It's no worse than a Carolina Reaper or a ghost pepper. Well, I don't know that Ooh. I... Don't yeah. do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just keeps coming. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. that's what I thought. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I told you. That's why I wasn't doing that. Woo! That'll clear your sinuses out. Yeah, <laughs> there you medicine. go. There's your medicine for your sinuses. It's like eating wasabi. Yeah. Woo! That's delicious. We're going to have another one. So we dump it into a big bowl, and then we go ahead and put it in the jars. But um, I got the horseradish in here, and look at that. Looks so good. Guys, so I'm going to put them in now, the vacuum sealer. difference in it when it catches. So since it's new with the lid, we're learning how to use this too. So. Yeah, this was Bruce's Christmas toy. Yes. I mean, <laughs> you always get toys you work with. I never Well, that's what you wanted. I know. I'm, I'm guilty of that. Uh, it 
works quite well. Him and Cody found this at Costco. So, and then the lid pops up, and look at that. Sealed tight as they can be. Perfect. And we're not using the oxygen absorbers because we will be eating them within a short period of time. All right, so I'm going to package the rest of this up. Hey, guys, I just wanted to show you that I got 10 and a half um, quart jars. This is a pint and a half jar that's old, but um, look at that. And that was 15 pounds of butternut squash. Yes, from... and I still have a little bit more of the 20 pounds and I, a little jar of horseradish, which I'm going to go ahead and cut it all up for tomorrow. And mm. I'm going to get that in with the rest of the celery on the next go around. And I'm very proud with this. But I wanted to say one little thing before I go. Um, a sweet little boy that I know named Dalton. Um, tonight when I was talking on the Nina when that bought bought our house, our old house. I was talking to her on the phone. And he says, who was who you on the phone with? Dalton said that. And uh, he's nine. And uh, <laughs> he said, your girlfriend. <laughs> because Dalton just loves watching our videos. So this so, is for you, Dalton. This is for you, Dalton. And we will see you in a few, maybe a week. I will see you. All right, Dalton, take care.